Yeah, hi and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, if you are a newcomer or newbie, you don't know anything about video mapping, you don't know anything about uh, MadMapper, I think that's the right tutorial just for you. Because uh, I'm going to quickly go through all the new interface elements and um, try to explain the basics of MadMapper. So when you start the, pro the, the application, it's like this, should show, show up just like this. You have uh, this panel on the left side where everything happens, the surfaces, where you create surfaces, you create modules, you addresses uh, video projectors and LEDs and everything. This is the, the central part, and the central part is divided into two windows, the, the input, so that's your content, and the output, that's your how you arrange your content and here you have the tools uh, the timelines and stuff it, uh, you, there are many different kind of tools just there uh, but so far I, I will uh, concentrate uh, on, on this main part so this is my content and in my content uh, there is some some built-in content here i can i can uh, add some more images i can import my own movies and everything i can use the live cameras but for now i will just uh, concentrate on the built-in content let me just click and drag and drop it in the stage and instantly it creates a surface it's called a quad in this in this uh, instance it's written there and a quad has four corners uh, in perspective for you to adjust uh, the content onto a real surface and here in this part in the input you can actually select uh, which part of the visual you you want to project uh, on, on your surface so this is uh, very handy because it allows you to, to crop um, your content and just select the right part that's uh, suitable for, for the right surface. Okay, here I can switch from one view to the other. Let's uh, switch to the stage view. So that's uh, the actual output of uh, your video mapping. And here now in, in this part, that's the video surfaces. That's a stack I can duplicate and you can see I have uh, multiple surfaces I can uh, do like this and do my command and if I click it uh, these are uh, the, the parameters of my surface which are inspected uh, into that panel so this is the actual content this is the opacity of my surface eventually the color of my surface okay and fx because i can add some fx so let's say i want to add an fx like uh, i don't know this for instance too so it makes kind of a cool fx i can have all the parameters of my fx here let me disable the fx there and i can add some mask here you can see i can create a mask my mask here uh, that can be uh, attached to my surface you can see if i if i move um, the corner of my surface it actually uh, deforms the perf perspective of, of the mask i can detach uh, the mask uh, from my surface okay or, or have it uh, attach how it was i can have some mesh warping so let me add a warping point here warping point there warping point here okay and uh, you can see i can select this warping point and, and i can start to to distort actually my my surface and i can even add the, the bezier uh parameters uh, so now it's nice and smooth uh, and i can uh, ramp up the precision for instance okay and i also have some some other options for the soft edge so on and so on next is the laser surfaces basically it's like the video surfaces but for lasers if you have the laser extension of madmapper and then you have the fixture uh, part of madmapper so the fixture are actually lighting fixtures uh, led strips dmx fixtures and here if i create a fixture there uh, boom uh, i can sample uh, the video surface and use that information to send it uh, directly uh, on a on a LED strip or LED bar, for instance. Here I've I've done some 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 fixtures already. Uh, normally, if I enable 
in the preferences, in the project side of things. The DMX output, and if it's configured uh, properly, uh, let's say to this address, uh, boom, uh, I can see that there is something responding and now I am sending. Uh, DMX on a LED bar, uh, let's have a look there on my uh, phone camera. Okay, and this is my phone camera. And if I take it, okay, this is my computer. If I take it, you can see that actually I am sending uh, something. Uh, if I maybe add some more contrast, okay, okay. And if I go back here uh, to see what's going on, boom, should come, okay. And I'm actually playing back uh, this content on this uh, LED bar. Uh, okay, so we are here. Uh, let me go back uh, to my tutorial. Uh, here is the module, so I can create a few modules. If I want to, let's say, schedule uh, something, schedule some automation, I can import it from my uh, iCalendar. I can have some other, let's say, an oscillator. You can see here I have a value oscillating around. And here, the final part is uh, where I have my DMX output, my laser output. This is a laser output and my video projector. So actually, this is my video projector here and I can select uh, where it will go. So if I have a secondary monitor connected, this will, uh, this will appear here. So now if I want to go full screen, that's there is a shortcut here, or the real shortcut is uh, Command U. If I go full screen, uh, no, it just goes full screen on my computer. Command or uh, Control T on Windows, Control T, I think, to go back to, to to the normal mode and here is the master setting master tab where i can uh, select uh, some options i can uh, have a video cursor for instance uh, and some different settings like an option to freeze so now my engine is frozen this is very useful sometimes when you just want to stop everything and see what's going on you can freeze it okay and the final part is the tools. If I click there and if I want to animate something, this is uh, very easy by default. I can uh, hit that uh, record button. So I'm here. I can select this. I just key everything. And now if I go there uh, and I move everything, okay, and I key everything up and now. I have an animation, so if I go there and let's say I right click and set it as my loop end and now activate the looping mode, I click play and now it's actually moving. So you've just learned how to make an animation with MadMapper. Of course, this is very simple and very uh, for the tutorial, for the sake of it. And I encourage you to, to dive uh, a little bit deeper into MadMapper. I have other tools, for instance, I have the library. Library is very cool because uh, we have a bunch of uh, materials, built-in materials uh, available, public stuff. So these are all different uh, generative uh, content. Wow, there's a lot of it. Uh, and we also have uh, laser materials specific for lasers, generators. We have ethics, special ethics, uh, and all sorts of stuff. We also have uh, AI uh, code editors. I could make a new material, for instance. Uh, I have to save my project first. So MadMapper is asking me to save my project. So I will go on the desktop. I will create a new folder, which I will call tutorials uh, like this. Okay, and inside I will save my project tuto one. Okay, so now it's saved and I can make a new material. I will call it... Uh, uh, tuto material, okay, using MadAI, which is the AI companion for MadMapper, and I will ask it to make uh, something cool and colorful. Okay, uh, this is a pretty vague. Uh, maximum madness, okay, and I'm just gonna send it. I send it. 
And while it's uh, processing my request on the servers, I can still do something else and see what's going on. And I will take this opportunity to reveal the project and tell you a little bit more about my project. So this is uh, in the tutorials on my desktop, I made a project called Tutor One, and it's made automatically a folder. And this folder contains the MadMapper file, contains some scratch folder, contains all the medias that I have created. So right now, uh, this media uh, should be here, Tutor Material, and this is actually um, the material that I just created within MadAI and all sorts of uh, different files, they're all located into that project. And this is very handy because if you move uh, from one computer to the other or from Mac to Windows, you can just copy this whole project and everything should be built in. If you uh, import some, some video, for instance, for instance, of uh, some files, so this is a nice file, let me import it uh, into MadMapper, boom, so now it's into MadMapper, but it's not uh, in my project, and I can choose to collect all the external resources, and MadMapper will collect one resource, which is this one, and we'll put it uh, into the folder. So if I click OK, and now again, if I reveal the project, and you can see here in the media images, there is my file. Okay, so MadMapper copied everything into the folder and I can move my folder to some other computer or, or some somewhere else. Okay, and I also have uh, the DMX monitor, for instance. Uh, DMX monitor, oh, something's going on. Yes, because my fixture, which was there, okay, is actually sampling. Uh, this uh, quad here, and now I can see the DMX values that I am sending over the network. And what else do we have? We have the control list, so when you want to make a control, for instance, so let's say I want to make a control uh, on this quad, and I want to control the opacity of this quad, so I can just um, uh, command shift K, to, to enable the keyboard configuration. Okay, I click this one, I press the a key on my keyboard, letter Q. Okay, and now whenever I press the letter Q, boom, boom, on, off. Okay, and I can see here, okay, that's the, the, the letter Q. Okay, you can see it's working there, and I could also add a nice curve, for instance, uh, like this. Uh, like this and add some filtering like uh, attack release filtering and now when I press Q you can see it's actually ramping if you look at the opacity here let me press Q um, it's ramping automatically and I think uh, one last uh, important stuff is here the notes because somewhere you're in the middle of a project you want to note something yeah forget about the paper forget about uh, everything else you can take notes into MadMapper and uh, remember uh, I need a, a, a haircut this is very important okay so next next time I open up this project it's going to be in the notes I need a haircut yeah and I think this concludes uh, the hands-on tutorial for now. And for those uh, who were used to MadMapper 5 and don't know about this, or, or those who don't know about this either for MadMapper 6, sometimes you're in a live situation and it's very handy to be able to see your surfaces and uh, the medias at the same time. If you click here, the media will just appear here. So whenever... Uh, and there I click a surface, it will automatically select the corresponding media. So this is very handy. If I have another uh, another one like this, okay, and I have this one, each time as I click it, I select it in the surface, it will select the, the, the right media, the media that is uh, attached to that surface. And this one I can close it and go back to where I was. Okay, I think that concludes the tutorial. Thanks for watching.